Okay, hey, welcome to uh, Inkscape for Woodworkers, and uh, this is part two, I would guess, part one, whatever. Today we're going to draw, or design, draw, whatever, a small end table. I'm going to do the side view of a small end table, and when I use Inkscape, I just draw random size rectangles to start with, and the thing about this is we're going to be drawing at full scale. So this is my eight and a half sheet by eleven paper. I'm not going to be using that. I'm going to use this. <coughs> this is my tabletop, and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to set the width, and I want it at eh, 25.5. So that's 25 and a half inches long, and I want it an inch and a half thick. So we're almost there. So now I have my tabletop, and we're not going to worry about fancying it up right now. This is just a basic um, how-to. And uh, next thing we need are some legs, so of course just another random size rectangle. And uh, the height on that is going to be 19.5 or 19 and a half, whichever way you care to look at it. Whoa, what did I do there? Height, <laughs> 19.5, about 5. And... Um, it's going to be two and a, yeah, we'll go with two and a quarter inches thick, 2.25, there we go, and I'm going to put a small miter on this, or a small uh, taper on it, right? So when I do a taper, this is where you got to pay a little bit of attention, because they're basically the all boxes. So I'm going to draw a box, and this is going to be my taper, and my taper, I'll show you how this works. Um, I'm going to make it 0.25 wide, and you'll see it in a minute. No, I'm going to make it a half inch. Sorry about that. I'm going to make it a, a 0.5 wide, and I want it 2 inches tall. And you'll see what I'm getting at here in a minute. Point, or 2 inches. 2 inches tall. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my snaps are on, which is this button over here. And now they're off, and now I'm going to turn them on and make sure this one has to be on for some reason. I don't know. And then I'm going to turn on these three, which is snap to corner, snap to the middle of the bounding box, and snap to the center of a bounding box. And all the bounding boxes is the box that goes around this anyway. So I'm going to snap this to the corner. I'm going to click that. I'm going to hold my shift key, and I'm going to click on the outside box. Now I'm going to go up to Path, Difference and it's going to cut that notch out of the size I just did. And now I'm going to double click on this quickly and you'll see these three nodes. Well, you'll see four, but on this one I'm just going to select it and I'm going to hit delete. That gives me this kind of weird shape. Now I'm going to box around these two or you can do them separate. You can click one, hold the shift key and click the other one or you can box around. And I'm going to go up here I'm going to make this a straight line. See, it says make line segments, or make seg <laughs> make selected segment line. Boom. There. Now I have a nice little taper at the end of my leg. Now, I'm going to put my leg right up here on the corner. I'm going to just snap it on there because it's going to snap. Because I do have my snaps turned on. And now we're going to go to object transform. And with the transform on, I'm going to go to the move tab, and I'm going to move it horizontally um, 1.5, so one and a half inches, and you'll see the little arrow, so 1.5, and I'm going to hit, click on that and hit apply. And then I'm going to copy this leg, I'm going to select the leg, I'm going to hit control C, control V, and I'm going to do a mirror, which is this up here, which is actually, well it says flip select selected object horizontally which is a mirror and I'm going to put that snap it to the corner and now I'm going to change this to minus 1.5 put a minus in front of there and I'm going to hit apply and there now I have my legs I have an inch and a half inset from both sides ah. <coughs> now I'm just going to take a board here and I'm going to make this well, I'm just going to, this is what my idea was here. Not my idea. This is just 
So I'm going to make it, uh, the height is 3.25. I'm going to go ahead and just snap that in the corner. And then I'm just going to bring it over here till it almost or quite touches. And I'm just going to hold my control key and use my scroll wheel and scroll in. And just make it so it touches. It should be 18 inches, so we'll just make it 18. Oops. We'll make it 18 inches. And there, it should be about perfect right in there. Yep. Now I'm going to add a little detail here, which is going to be also, um, it's going to be 0.5 wide, and it's going to be 18 inches. Oh, got those backwards. It's going to be 18 inches wide and 0.5 high. 0.5. Now I'm going to put that, I'm going to add it right there. That's just a little extra detail. You would see that on the other side drawing or a separate piece part drawing, but this is just the basic table drawing, so that's what we get. So I'm going to copy this one. Control C, con I'm going to select it, hit Control C, Control V, and I'm going to make this one 1.75. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and put it there. Now you'll see it snaps to the corners. And I want to not move it vertically this time. I want to move it, or horizontal, I want to move it vertically, and I want to bring it up three inches. And I'm going to hit Apply. Oops, I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to hit Apply. And there, now it's up three inches from the bottom. Now I'm going to add some extra pieces in here. And what are these? These are 175 wide. 1.75, or an inch and three quarters wide. Oops, and I'm going to put it, well, I'm going to get it dimensioned here, so what is it? And I think it's supposed to be 11 inches, which it is, so I'm just going to make it 11 inches high. Which should be right there. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to pop it in the corner there. And then I'm going to move it, whoop, get rid of that. I'm going to move it horizontally, um, 2.75, 2 and 3 quarters in. I'm going to hit apply. Oops, I got first I need to select it, then I can hit apply. I'm going to come over here, control C, control V, pop that in there. And I'm just going to put a minus in front of this and hit apply. And then I'm going to hit Control D, and I'm going to hit Apply again. And then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to hit Control D, which is duplicate. Makes an exact copy of what you've selected, and just places it right on top. And then I'm going to um, get rid of the minus, and hit Apply. Now, uh, that don't look right, so I need to move this over just a bit more. So I'm going to move it over... 0.5. I'm going to hit apply. And then I'm going to make this one, and I'm going to move it over <coughs> minus 0.5 and hit apply. And they probably should be in a little bit more, but we're just going to leave it at that for now. But that's how you would design a basic table. It's quick, it's easy, and uh, I don't know if I got time in this video. If you get bored with it, kill it, but I'm going to show you how to do the measurements. What I would do is I would copy this whole thing, do control C, control V. I'm going to drag it over here a little bit, and then I'm going to go to scale. And the scale usually starts at 100. I'm going to put it down to 25% of both, and I'm going to check the box that says scale proportionately, so it scales it everything like it's supposed to. And then I can pop it right here in the middle of my actual sheet of paper. And I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to go up here, up here and select Extensions, Visualize Path, and I want the Dimension Tool. And you'll see I have the tabletop selected. I'm going to hit Apply, and it's going to give me the arrows. Um, the people that work on Inkscape are trying to are 
working on this part of the deal, but they haven't got it yet. So you go back up to extensions, visualize path, and you go to measure path. This brings up another box. And when you first select this, it'll be all selected. Just double click and you'll get just the arrow. And what I did is I scaled it factor to 0.4 or to 4 because I scaled it 25% which is 4. So it's in inches and I'm going to hit apply and it gives me 25.5 inches. It's just what I drew on the other side. Same thing with this one. Hit apply and it's 1.5 inches. And I can just take this and maybe move it to the other side if I don't like it where it is. And then I can just take the leg and do the, do the apply double click get the arrow hit apply it's 19.5 just what I wanted and the side hit apply and I'm gonna take this and this and I'm gonna move it down here oops oops I missed this one so I'm gonna move it down there whoa oops control Z control Z remember control Z is your friend control Z Control Z. Oops. So I select the arrow, hold the shift key, select the 2.2, which is not supposed to be. And pop it down here. Bring it, oops, excuse me. Ah, having a rough time here. Bring it down here. Because it wants to snap to the box. That's what's happening. So that's why it's doing that. It wants to snap to itself all the time. Bring that down here. Yeah, and see now that measurement didn't turn out quite the way I planned, so I'm gonna have to go with a precision of two and hit apply. Two point two four is supposed to be two point two five. Okay. Sometimes it gets a little quirky like that, but you know. And you can just keep doing that on the whole thing. And it'll tell you what your dimensions are. So uh <coughs> I hope you found this interesting. Hope you found it helpful, useful, but with just a few simple things you can do with just the rectangle tool and then a few other little tips and tricks, um, you can design a table. So, <coughs> um, hope you liked it, and until next time, drive like a maniac. Later.